Hi folks, my name is Luis Silva Rocal uh, and I'm going to do a short tutorial on digitizing line features using our map 10. If you like this tutorial or any other I've been publishing, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. First thing we're going to do is we're going to see a little bit how what we're going to digitize. Uh, we're going to start with the coastline. Uh, as you can see, uh, the coast has changed significantly in this area and in this area down here. So we're going to start uh, doing some digitizing. We're going to choose a scale and keep that scale set. Uh, one of the reasons I like doing this is if you start digitizing and you change scale, the quality of your of your uh, vectors are very is going to be very poor. So we're going to right click over layers. Uh, we're going to click on properties, and here in data frame, we're going to choose the extent for a fixed scale. And I've chosen uh, one in 2500. I'm going to do OK. Once I do this, you can see now that uh, the scale is, the map scale here is fixed. You can't change it. And my zooming bot buttons are also grayed out, so I can't use them, which means I can only pan. So I need to move down to the area that I want. So I'm going to start uh, digitizing this area. I'm going to start digitizing the coast. Before I start digitizing the coastline, uh, we're going to take a look at the attribute table. So we're going to right click on coastline. We're going to click on open attribute table. And here we can take a look at uh, the contents of the, of the attributes. What we're interested in right now is to change the status of all the polylines to current, because I want to keep both old and new. And I select and I clicked on Shift and Select. As you can see, they turn uh, this blue color. And then we're going to calculate this. We're going to use Field Calculator. It gives me a message that says you are about to calculate outside of an edit session. This method is faster than calculate in an edit session, but there's no way to undo your results once the calculation begins. Do you want to continue? Yes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to double quote, and we're going to say current. Because but right now, this one is current, so we do OK. It's calculating there. And now, you can see here that in our status, status, all lines have current in their attribute. Now we close our attribute table. Next thing we do is we're going to deselect all our coastlines. We click here on Clear Selected Features, turns back to red. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start editing. We're going to do Start Editing. So now we're going to start uh, digitizing our coastline. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the editor toolbar and select Start Editing. Now you can see here on the left side that uh, I can see all the layers I can edit. So I click on Coastline. And as construction tool, I'm going to click on Line. I'm just going to start digitizing. In case I get a right, a wrong click, let's say here, and I want to delete, all I do is I stand over the vertex and I click on delete ver vertex. So I can keep on. I don't like this one. Let me do a delete vertex again. I'll click here. So I'm going to 
move along right to the end where I can show you where I end up uh, edit, uh, digitizing the coast. So I'm about to digitize my last point. I'm going to snap it to the area of study. So I'm going to click here. Once I'm ready to finish uh, digitizing, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to click on finish sketch. So now I have this whole line digitized and uh, I'm going to digitize one really small so I can show you the whole process again. I'm going to click again on line. I'm going to go And then I'm going to snap it into the coast again. And if you can see here, it's, I'm looking for a coast, which I think it's right here. Click on it. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to do finish sketch. What we're going to do now is we're, we're going to click on the editor and do save edits. Just in case something happens, we won't lose what we created. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some light editing. Uh, we're going to split this line. You can see. Now I want it to be split into two parts so I can uh, give it uh, different attributes. So I'm going to click on split, the split tool, and I'm going to click in the vertex I want. Which is here, click. And now when I click, you can see it has split it this line into two parts. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, open the attribute table of coastline. And as you can see, the selected one has current. This one has current. What I want to do here is edit from current here to old. To old. And these two, which are the ones I just created, and I know because if I click here, they should be turning blue. See the light blue color? So I'm going to just write here current. I'm going to start current. Now we're to close our table in here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stop editing. And uh, <clears throat> now all my edits are, have been saved. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the extent of my map and it's currently fixed to a single scale so I'm going to change it to automatic click OK I'm going to click on the world here full extent and here down here you can see the new coastline that I just digitized and Let's see, we need to do some editing. Let's use the select tool. So as you can see, I also have to split here uh, in order to, to get uh, this part, which is current, and this part, which is old, uh, which is pretty much what we did last time, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, thank you very much, folks. Uh, if you like this video, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.